a mistake. I mean, that's that's as simple as that, right? And and those are going to happen. So, um, but tonight is what obviously what we're capable of. And you know, look, the reality of it is, is we're all we're all racing for our jobs, man. I mean, we are. We're in. And it, for me, I, I don't know what else I can do besides win a race to prove that I can race at this level. I really, you know, we're running up front. We're doing some some really good things. We've shown a lot of potential. We're qualifying better, racing wet, better. Um, I think that, you know, there's a lot of good days coming for the four team. What are the uh, tracks you're most looking forward to or could be your best chances? The next one. What did happen under that caution where it looked like you got some nose damage or something? Um, <laughs> we had an issue with the the pad the door pad came loose with the radios in it and everything and, and it came loose like early in the race and we got it taped and it, the tape had came loose on it and i was trying to s kind of smash it back in and hold it in the in the door and just just got to just got to messing with it and just ran in the back of ricky how would, overall how would you uh, sum up that day i mean it was really good i mean we we're in control of the race with 70 to go right leading um you know blaney was inching in on us he was probably the best car all night best car in the long run we needed to be a little bit better on the long run but that you know obviously getting getting control there having clean air that was the best we had been all day you know just you know unfortunately just you know we lost a little on on the pit on the you know the four tire call but really more the the restart didn't go our way more than more than anything you know i gave up a row for the top and ricky didn't get a great restart we just kind of got jammed up and and just kind of just netted out their loss and that was kind of where it got away from us thank you um you know everything about the race went the way that we wanted it to we had a fast car josh did a great job uh, restarts were good you know we checked a lot of boxes today and um you know you got to crawl before you can run and crawl before you can walk and then walk before you can run and um yeah we've started to do that i know the last two weeks didn't really show that but if you look before that we've got better and better every every week and had good runs and feel good about what we're doing and um you know a lot of adversity on top of that so um it's interesting looking for a job all week and still coming and running like this and um you know that's that that's just icing on the cake honestly uh everybody has stayed focused and keeps racing their hearts out and uh, everybody that we race against knows what the four car is capable of and the people that I have and um, you know Josh is just driving his butt off and um, if he didn't show that he deserves in this series tonight then something's wrong right I mean you look back at Darlington you look look at here you look at Richmond um, you know he's doing a really good job and you know, our short track stuff has been good. We need to give him a little bit better car at the intermediate tracks, but, we're, you know, we're going to continue to, to fight and to, to give him better cars every week and, and keep pushing forward. You were able to leave Mike Walter racing on, on your own volition. I did. Uh, I'd never been out here before, and when I turned off the interstate, I, I could see the racetrack, and, you know, this was the first day I'd never even been in here before, and I told my guys in the van, I said, this place is freaking awesome. And, uh, and we come through the tunnel, and I was like, holy shit, why have we not been racing at this joint? Uh, but it's, we should have been here a long time ago. Um, just a great area. I loved staying downtown. The hotels were great. Everything about it was good. Um, so hopefully we can keep doing this for a long time. Appreciate it, Tom. Let's talk about the strategy. Um, so, I mean, well, first of all, it's been pretty rare that they throw a caution in the middle of a cycle like they did today. But when that happens, obviously it creates the opportunity for the 47 to trap half the field lap down. But it seemed like that was a good call because it's if the field's pretty even, to take half your competition out. I mean, is that a fair game strategy? Then? Yeah, I mean, you just kind of wondered what it was going to be like for them, um, and you wonder like whose call was that or where it comes from. Um, you, I, I mean, that that makes sense, right? But. You know, ultimately, you, you know, you have to make those calls. They made that call and then ended up with a good finish. So, you know, hats off to those guys. Um, you know, when we got ready to go back green on that restart, you know, Josh was behind him. He said, he's got cords all the way around his left rear tire. <laughs> so, I mean, for him to make it work and all that stuff, you know, those guys did a good job. They needed a good finish as bad as we did. So, um, but, you know, I mean, I know in my career, 21 years, I've thought about doing that a lot. Um, I don't think I've ever done it, but maybe twice in 21 years. But I mean, sometimes you got to do that. And if you can, like you said, lock half of them a lap down, that's, that's the way to go. Like, are people like, ah, that's cheap? Like, how does the garage feel about it? Are they okay with that kind of stuff? Like, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody's everybody's got to run their own race. Um, you know, and they did a they did a great job. They run their own race, and Ricky drove a smart race. And you know, I mean, it's everything's good from their side. Thanks, man. I was just gonna ask on you guys had control of the race, and it was you lost a couple spots of pit road. Was, was it something to happen on that stop, or did everyone else just have an incredible stop? Uh, well, we did four tires there at the end. Those other guys did too. So we were the first one on four. Um, and then the restart just didn't work out for us. We needed to, to have a better restart. The 47 spun his tires real bad, and there was nowhere for us to go. And ended up pretty far back before we ever got rolling again. So, you know, those things are going to happen. Uh, nothing's ever going to be perfect. Uh, and, you know, everybody did a great job on our team and, and fought hard the whole race and, and got a good finish out of it. Thank you. Steven Stump of FrontStretch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos, and if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.